Hello everyone, uh, Trouble again, and what I have for you today is a theoretically 100% accurate storage system. Uh, it's not quite finished, and I don't think I will ever finish it. I'll get to why in a second, but let me just introduce the concept real quick. So each, uh, we have 59 slices, and if you watch my Hecate Slime Storage, you could probably figure out why, but the reason is because of um, you know the max signal strength that a comparator can hold uh, is divisible by 15 only 59 times and a bit but we can't represent fractions so we just skip it anyway um yeah each of these lines of comparators um will feed into its own iterator and the iterator will send the signal down over here and it will do some funky logic and send it over to this feed tape which is responsible for all the math. So you signal it gets, um, it'll output twice, but um, yeah, this uh, glass block will skip one of the signals. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. It's an odd piston feed tape, so it has um, more blocks in it on one row than the other, which makes it a bit slow. So I had to make it as fast as possible with zero ticks and everything. Um, so yeah, then, just some more logic over here, and yeah, this um, redstone dust gets fed into this dropper, and this is just to regulate the speed so that the display doesn't get overwhelmed. So it would just put um, items in a queue here, and then this comparator would read it, and then as long as it's read, then it would have this clock here, and this clock would be at the right speed for the display to actually update correctly, not break. And then I also added a half-assed uh, Hopper locking system, which, um, yeah, as you can see over here, it's yeah, quite obvious that's been half assed. But yeah, regardless, um, it's just a proof of concept. Um, yeah, it would just, yeah, on, right over here, I partially filled it just for demonstration. So yeah, it would put in one redstone dust for each dropper. And then um, over here, we can see what it looks like. Um, without anything so pretty much as expected and yeah every yeah it would just you know this hopper clock would um, run for a certain amount of time have this observer clock here and then that would just uh, cycle the items through and yeah put one item in each dropper or remove one item so yeah that's that um let me get into why it doesn't work so what ends up happening for whatever reason it whenever I filled it up completely, then the output here would be off by just a few. And for the longest time I couldn't figure it out, but I have a theory. I haven't really confirmed it yet, but I think what's going on is uh, these iterators have slightly different delays because I had to fit them in. Um, yeah, and so that required me to put in, bring them out a little bit further sometimes. So this one has two comparators and this one has only one. And so um, what that could mean is that um, each slice, when it fills up, it will, this, um, let's say this iterator will stop because it's full, but then this one would start up. But because this one is on two compared to the delay, then this one ending might overlap with this one starting up and the two signals might get uh, confused with each other. So um, yeah, you have, um, you know, a signal here, and this would go along fine, and the signal over here would, you know, get passed along fine. But these two go into the same block, and you know, the observers that would normally detect that um, probably wouldn't be able to pick up the signal and actually represent it properly because they would overlap, and you know, observer can't distinguish two signals that are overlapping, and then that would cause it to, yeah, just be off by a few every time it jumps across but sometimes um like if it were to happen on every iterator then it would have a certain number but i haven't reproduced that it's been it's just a weird problem and i haven't been able to fix it and the i think the only way if it is the case that i'd be able to fix it is um somehow making all the delays the same or which, which would mean that i'd have to add more comparators to the other iterators or something and then make it massive i'd have to like branch them out everywhere and yeah the other way is just to slow the iterators down i guess a bit so that the 
um, the transition it's slightly I guess resonant um, so yeah this one would this one signal um, would uh, would never overlap with this one signal and nor would this uh, iterator signal get overlap uh, by this one so yeah, I've been too lazy to do that and to be honest I've been losing steam on this project so I thought I would just um, yeah make a video now and then I guess let everyone else in the community uh, pick up the slack if they want to but yeah it theoretically holds the power to be insanely accurate and still be quite large and not rely on um, hacky math. Yeah, that's the system in a nutshell. Um, hope you enjoyed. Next video, I'll probably be doing something with command blocks. I've been working very hard on that. Um, so yeah, I guess stay tuned. Um, yeah, maybe I'll put a world download or something in the description if I'm not lazy. So yeah, uh, see you in the next video.